And there is a major change and even more back and forth this morning when it comes to researching climate change and it's really hitting close to home for some CU Boulder researchers. A well known federal climate website has been shut down now by the Trump administration. This is the US Global Change Research Program and it's been under review, including how it was structured. But now if you click on it, it says the site is not available. It used to host the well known national climate assessment. It was a report that comes out every four years mandated to be delivered to both the president and Congress. The information was meant to inform policy and action about climate change. Also has information down at a local level, including here in Colorado. I had a chance to speak to a CU Boulder professor who has contributed to this report. Well, you can see the flip side of that is that without this information, it limits our ability to make good choices, to make uh, well-informed and um, appropriate choices. Thinking about risk reduction in the state of Colorado is tremendously important. I mentioned wildfires, floods, risks, uh, heat waves. And now for the newest twist, while NASA was supposed to take over and they actually acknowledged earlier that they would, I just got this statement that says that, quote, NASA has no legal obligation to host this data. I care tremendously about the state of Colorado and its well-being and the people and, and places here. Um, you know, I think about the loss of knowledge as a first cut to help us make informed decisions. Professor Max Boykoff is worried that once you take this kind of funding away, it is hard to rebuild and researchers will lose that momentum for the next generation. Now, if you have any questions about our climate, you can scan the QR code to get to my contact information. You can also email me at anusha.roy at denver7.com.